So on this old B&W, front end accident, I noticed they replaced the condenser and uh, I went to hook up my gauges and there was 57 PSI of pressure in the system. I'm going, well, that's odd. They replaced the condenser. That means they had the condenser off. The lines were open to atmosphere. How can there be 57 PSI pressure in there? It should be zero. And the reason there was 57 PSI and zero, uh, PSI of refrigerant in the system is because the body man it had refrigerant in the condenser was dent bent but it didn't lose refrigerant they didn't call me in to recover the refrigerant the body man just unscrewed the screws released the refrigerant into the atmosphere and quickly swapped on a new condenser put back on the screws tighten it up so what happened was the refrigerant lowers in pressure really fast and so the temperature of the refrigerant in the entire system gets really cold, including all the refrigerant that is trapped in the oil, like CO2 is trapped in the water or soda, like Coca-Cola. And so, you know, when you release the pressure on soda pop, it releases the pressure. You put your thumb back on it and hold it there for a little while, it builds back up pressure as the CO2 releases from the soda pop. Same exact same happened here. They opened up the lines, released the refrigerant, quickly put on a new condenser and so the pressure went up to 57 so i was curious i have it under vacuum now but i turned on the car even though it's basically empty it only had vapor uh pressure because it, it's it's like 74 degrees right now so the pressure should have been much higher so when i was running it i had uh eight psi on the low side and 111 psi on the high side because it took that vapor refrigerant that was left in the system was basically no liquid and was able to pull the low side down to from 56 57 psi down to 8 psi and by the heat of compression be able to raise the high side pressure to 111 psi and that's just opening the system releasing refrigerant buttoning it back up and that's how compressors get burnt out now imagine the customer doesn't know this tries to use his ac oh it doesn't work but he doesn't turn the ac off so the compressor keeps spinning and working with only vapor and the compressor keeps getting hotter and hotter because the vapor refrigerant can remove refrigerant oil out of the compressor but it's a not enough refrigerant to bring the oil back through the evaporator and come back to the compressor so slowly the compressors burn up and this is how compressors burn up you can know the low side pressure switch did not save the system because the pressure went above when standing uh, i think it's 42 44 psi it went to 56 or 57 that was enough for the pressure switch to make contact saying hey i have enough refrigerant in the system turn me on and then after that it's uh just grind the compressor away until it burns up but uh i was just curious and uh so now i have it on the vacuum pump and i'm about to fill it back up